Hello everyone, my name is Katarzyna Drozdowska from Gdańsk University of Technology from the Department of uh, Metrology and Optoelectronics in Gdańsk in Poland. So today it is my pleasure to present my and my group's research results and now I will move on to my presentation and as you can see the title of it is Pulsed UV Irradiated Graphene Sensors for Ethanol Detection at Room Temperature you can see our old group, which were involved in the fabrication processes and in the uh, measurements of uh, gas uh, sensor performance. So uh, now I will uh, just very briefly present you the plan of the presentation. So first of all, I will introduce you with the topic and our ideas on the experiments. Next, I will move on to methods of fabrication and measurement procedure that will include graphene sensor fabrication and some uh, details about electrical measurements which we conducted. Next, I will discuss our most interesting results and I will conclude everything at the very end of the presentation. So for the introduction, just a few words. So we would like to present graphene-based gas sensor, uh, in our case for ethanol detection, because for this gas we could see some visible responses uh, comparing to another one, which I will discuss in a moment. So we wanted to use a graphene monolayer, uh, which may be highly gas sensitive due to the active surface, uh, 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 active surface area and also some uh, unique electrical properties, because any molecular absorption events at the graphene surface may lead to some changes in electrical properties like resistance, for instance. And uh, if we use graphene, we can uh, use it as an active uh, layer in resistive gas sensors or as a channel in a field effect transistor configuration, which we used in case of our experiments. Uh, so we also have here uh, the third electrode backgate contact, which enable us, uh, which enables us uh, gate uh, voltage modulation as another parameter to improve gas sensing performance. So apart from that, we wanted to use UV LED irradiation, but pulse irradiation of different frequencies to see whether frequency also has some impact on sensing performance on such graphene fed devices. And we do not, didn't want to use additional heating. So all our experiments were conducted at room temperature, but the UV LED was used for surface activation. Some activation, so activation of some surface processes on graphene for better detection. So uh, for graphene sensors fabrication, you can see from the scheme uh, in the slide that uh, it involves a few technological processes. We use here graphene, which is commercially available on copper foil, uh, deposited using chemical vapor deposition technique. And with the use of electrical, electrochemical delamination, we can transfer such graphene on a silicon substrate using PMMA handle, which is then uh, rinsed off with acetone after the graphene transfer and in, also in order to pattern some uh, channels of specific dimensions uh, selective etching may be used in our case that was laser lithography and reactive ion etching and the channel which we then measured for uh, sensing performance had uh, width and length of 500 micrometers so the last uh, process metallization using uh, thermal evaporation, the source drain, and also backgate contact was deposited. Uh, chrome backgate contact and uh, golden source drain paths uh, in between the uh, channel uh, which uh, was formed from graphene. So for some details of electrical measurements, you can see in the slide the photograph that the GFET sample was positioned under the microscope in the probe station and uh, titanium needles on some manipulators were used to connect uh, the all three electrodes of the sample to the biasing and measuring unit. You can also see the gas inlet here. So it was connected with the gas distribution system. The gases which were used was uh, inert atmosphere of N2, 100 ppm of ethanol, and 200 ppm of methane also in, diluted in N2 as a carrier gas. We kept constant overall gas flow to limit any interferences, turbulences. We also, as I have mentioned before, conducted all the experiments at room temperature. And we collected for uh, such sensing performance the DC characteristics of sensor resistance versus gate voltage. 
We have also employed UV LED of wavelength 365 nanometers. This is also the optical power density, which was obtained for this UV source. And we established square form pulses with 50% duty cycle at different frequencies, selected frequencies from the range 0 0.1 to 1000 Hertz. So 50% duty cycle means that in a single pulse, we can have the same time for the on state of the diode and in the off state. So when the diode is turned on and off. So 50% was established for all the experiments. So for the results, the first thing I would like to present is surface link procedure and the results from that. We can, uh, we can um, easily say, and we can, it is quite well described in the literature that UV irradiation uh, may uh, may have uh, that impact on the some active uh, sensitive gas sensitive layers that it uh, that it may at least partially remove some species mostly oxygen species from the surface in order to clean the surface and prepare that surface for further gas detection so we use the combination of uv irradiation pulsed irradiation in our case for surface cleaning procedure that was the frequency 1000 hertz and also we use the inert atmosphere of n2 to prepare that uh, uh, sensing area for further detection of ethanol or methane. And uh, here we can say that UV light removes previously absorbed oxygen species from the graphene surface, but at the same time, inert ambient gas prevents additional oxygen and humidity from absorption. And that results in the sensor resistance increase. As you can see in figure one, sensor resistance versus gate voltage. And these characteristics are be, uh, gradually increase with the time of UV radiation and purging with N2. At 30 volts, we have the highest uh, relative uh, difference in sensor resistance, and that is 14%. At, after that time, we also see that the response stabilized. So we may say that some equilibrium was reached at the surface and it was partially cleaned from some uh, species that uh, were absorbed absorbed there before. So we use that surface cleaning procedure before the detection of uh, specific gases. And here you have uh, two different figures for ethanol and methane and their characteristics, uh, how they changed for specific concentration when we also change the frequency of UV light irradiation, uh, which uh, was used for the detection during the detection processes. So for ethanol, you can see that comparing to the cleaned uh, cleaned, uh, cleaned surface, we see that the lower the frequency, the higher the sensor response, reaching around 5% at 30 volts for the lowest frequency used, 0.1 hertz. Whereas for methane, no visible changes were observed regardless of frequency used. So we may say that uh, the sensor is insensitive to such concentration of methane, but towards ethanol, we may see some, cha we may see some changes and differences, mostly for the positive gate voltages. For example, for zero, zero volts, these changes are less visible. So it is quite an interesting observation. So how we can interpret these observations that for ethanol, the lower the frequency, the higher the response. In general, we see here that the prolonged on state during pulse irradiation leads to higher sensor response. What does it mean? It means that when we have the lower frequency, lower frequency, then the time for the on and off state during a single pulse is the longest for the lowest frequency. So in general, during the irradiation, so in the off state, we have some acceleration of surface processes that includes diffusion processes and also some absorption. But for the continuous light, there is always some concurrent desorption process that may, uh, may lead to lower responses because when the target gas molecules bond quite weakly to the surface, they may be desorbed uh, before they can, be, they can give us uh, some response, which we can see in some electrical properties of the gas sensitive layer. So we have more time for the acceleration of surface processes in the on state, and we have some more time in the off state for effective absorption at earlier UV generated active centers with, uh, without any concurrent absorption processes, or at least they are diminished. 
So we may interpret it like that. It is quite assumptive, but it uh, could um, it could uh, it is quite a good interpretation for the observations which may be seen uh, in our results. So for the ethanol that works. And of course, comparing to the dark lab, con lab air conditions, these responses are even higher. So to conclude it, we wanted to present you the room temperature graphene fed sensor of low power consumption because we use uh, uh, we use only room temperature for the for the sensing without any additional heating. We use UV LED, but with lower frequencies, so of lower power consumption. So in general, to conclude, we used UVA LED and an inert atmosphere of N2 for graphene surface cleaning. And such UV clean surface has potentially more binding site. Uh, sites to enhance the detection process in case of ethanol, whereas for methane there was no visible reaction to uh, regardless of pulse frequency used. So that is uh, at least partly selectivity of the sensor. And we may say that the lower UV pulse frequency provides more time for surface diffusion of gas molecules to active sites in the on state and more time for effective absorption in the off state. And of course, there are some uh, points to be considered for future work. So uh, confirming the selectivity, investigating other gases and so on. Comparison with continuous light irradiation, employing UV LED of different wavelengths, different intensities, and this experiments uh, for such sensors are currently ongoing in our laboratories right now. So with that, I would like to thank you very much for your attention. I would like to thank all the organizers for having uh, me here today uh, to present our recent results. Thank you very much.